Captain and Tangela too. And our host, Vincent Van Dahl. Can he bring it to ya? Creature features and all creatures. Hello, friends, and welcome to Creature Beaches. I am your host, Vincent. This would be my dashing doer of daring deeds, the magnanimous Mr. Livingston. And over in this quadrant of your television receiver unit would be the lovely and dainty Tangella, whose bite is worse than her bark and who has a penchant for transforming your most treasured dreams into your gravest nightmares, all while she casually relishes sweets and high-octane caffeine concoctions. And oh my, oh my, do we have a most spectacular program in store for you tonight. First up, we shall take in the 1973 classic Scream, Blackula, Scream. This is a most unusual film. That would be an understatement. Perhaps, but not for the reasons that my esteemed colleague might reckon. For this is one of the very few film sequels in cinematic history which actually did far better than the original. The first one was bad as well. It certainly wouldn't require much effort to surpass. Mm. Starring William Marshall in the titular role, you might be surprised to learn that this film also features the wonderful Pam Greer as Lisa and the hilarious Craig Nelson as Sarge. This is the most terribly amusing film that contains magic, Voodoo, witchcraft, vampirism, and a small dollop of potential cannibalism. All of which are necessary ingredients for a fine family film. Tangella would like to perform a voodoo demonstration upon our beleaguered handyman, Andrew, with her new can-do Handrew voodoo doll. No, love, I think not. Joining us to watch this 1970s slasher film will be 1970s slasher film director William Lustig. Those of you who watch our show on the regular know that our old friend Bill is a superhero of the horror milieu. And he knows a good deal more about horror films than anyone in this household. He'll grace our guest chair to opine about tonight's film and offer up golden nuggets of knowledge about everything horror related festering upon the world today. So do not go away because it shall be another fabulous night of voodoo and vampire delight right here on Creature Features. Stay tuned. Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by The Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com. Welcome to, what's the show called again? Creature Features. Yes. That's what we do. Now, welcome to the Bill Lustig Show. That's what we're doing tonight, the Bill Lustig Show, because you're, you've, you've done more with horror than I have. Yeah, well, I've, uh, I've spent my formative years sitting in 42nd Street movie theaters, no. watching movies like the one we're going to watch tonight. You spent lots of time behind the camera as well. Yes, Directing. Maniac. He's a famous director. I mean, so so out of the the ten thousand movies that you've directed, which is your favorite? Maniac Cop Two. Maniac Cop Two. Yeah. Yeah. Joe Bob Briggs recently showed it on. Did he? Um. Yeah. Uh, and did he give I you a nice it. review? 
Um, oh yeah. What was the score? There's he does the thing with the score, right? Where he says how many people died and. Oh yeah, he gives a gives the ca- the boob count. The, the oh my death goodness! Count, all that kind of stuff. How yeah. fun! How yeah. fun! Yeah, he he seems like he'd be a nice guy. He is. Yeah. He really is. Anyways, we're going to watch Scream, Blackula Scream with Mr. Lustig. And you saw this movie in the cinema, you said. When it came out. When it came out. It it came out. 1973. Yeah, I saw it in the theater. You saw it in the the theater. Yeah. And then have you seen it since? No. No. I haven't seen it since. But but you remember the film. Yeah. And I remember Blackula, you know, the first of this. Right. This was the sequel to Blackula. Right. But it was totally different. Right. Um, and uh, William Marshall was amazing. He plays Blackula. Yeah. Right, right. And um, the director of the first Blackula really took it seriously. Even though he was making this low budget, what well, was inherently, you know, out, you know, kind of campy, you know, a black right. Dracula. Um, he really took it seriously and had William Marshall, who had this... Uh, dignity about him, this right. nobility about him, right? Uh, playing the role, and uh, he does a fine job in this film. That's yeah, for sure. yeah. So, is the best way to watch this film though with ladybug ears on your head? Um, what are you talking about? Those, those, those antennae on your brain. Oh, no. yeah. This is this it's is a, the, it's yeah. a new look for you. I like it. It is. It's a uh, you know. It's it's something that I've been uh, working on. There was a, a British show called The Bugaloos. <laughs> you look like a bugaloo. All right. What do you say we start this film, and then uh, when cool. we uh, when we come back, we're going to find out what you've been up to and all of that stuff. I look forward. All right. Off we go. Scream, Blackie, let's scream. Nineteen seventy-three. Don't go away. So this does not quite go with the typical vampire thing where, Mm -hmm. you know, he's bones. How do you bring back a vampire from bones? Hey, with vampires, there are no rules. Anything goes. Anything goes. As long as you set up the rule book for your vampire film up front, you can do whatever you want. You've never done a vampire film, have you? I wish I had. No, it's true. All right. So... Uh, if you're just joining us, we're with William Lustig, Bill Lustig, our friend, and he is a director extraordinaire, but you did, you're famous f- mostly for Maniac, right? Yes, that's going to be my uh, Tombstone movie. Po- Tombstone movie, and that was done, you told me, in 1980. Yep, and the remake was done in uh, 2006. With Elijah Wood. With Elijah Wood. How fun. So how involved were you in the remake other than Honestly, ownership and all you did what? Name only. My credit only. on it as producer right. was a name only. Did they let you go over to like use craft services or oh, anything? Oh, yeah. All right. So, yeah. No, yeah, you... no, I had a good lunch. I nice. got to hang with Elijah. We right. became friends from it. Was he like? Oh, he's a great guy. He's very, he, he loves like movies. Nice. He loves movies. Right, right. And is it true he's only four feet tall? Oh, come on. Yeah, he's, he's taller. Yeah, he's taller than that, but he's... Well, he plays a hobbit. Yeah. And it's not, it's not a stretch to, to believe that the actor is a bit small. He's probably five-something, I don't know. Tom Cruise is five-something. Yeah. And that something is not much over five. <laughs> Have you seen that man's shoes? Who? Tom Cruise. Really? Oh, my Big God. Big shoes? So he's got heels that seem to be two inches tall, ah. and there's this thing going on inside. So, you know, he's probably got another two-inch thing and it's 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 incredible but i'm not here to speak about tom cruise's feet and i apologize for going down this dirt road you did that movie so there was maniac the maniac remake, cop maniac cop and there were three maniac cops three maniac cops yeah my goodness yeah it's very popular how fun yeah that's great so that's 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 why William is important, and I am not, because I, you know, I have not even made one Maniac film yet. <laughs> I, I need to work on my first, so I have a Tombstone movie. 
And I have uh, Uncle Sam, which is going to be released uh, this summer. On... No, Uncle Sam. Yeah. I didn't know about this project. Uh, when did you, when'd you do this? Uh, late 90s. You did it in the late 90s? It's just getting released now? Oh, no, no. It had been released. It's getting, oh, all right. It's getting a re-release in 4K. I see. And you're doing this? Oh, yeah. Through my right, company, right. Blue Underground. So he, he also has a film distribution company called Blue Underground. Mm -hmm. And uh, fantastic films you've got. And some great work. Yeah. Restoration. So we'll talk about restorations next. But what do you say we get back to Scream Black and Let's Scream? I look forward. All right, off we go back to Scream, Blackula Scream, 1973. And when we come back, we're going to do some mail, and we're going to kick Bill out for a moment, but we'll be back. See you soon. Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. And we are back from Scream, Blackula, Scream. Mr. Lustig stepped away for a short moment. I think he went to call somebody important. In Hollywood, Pat. In Hollywood. That's all he talks to is people in Hollywood. And us. He speaks to us and people in Hollywood. That's it. No, I, I think that's, that's, that's rather noble, don't you? It's nice. It is. It is. Anyways, uh, we figured we'd do some letters now because... Uh, we have nothing else to do, and we got to get back to the film, so let's do some mail, right? Okay. Here's what do you one got? From Wakefield, UK. Wakefield, UK. Yeah, it's a several hour drive from Luton. North from Luton on the M1. On the M1. On the M1. Hmm. M1 connects from Luton to Wakefield oh. directly. And then you take a, take a left somewhere to go to Manchester if you want. I like Manchester, but I think I like Wakefield more. Because we have a fan in Wakefield. At least maybe we'll find out. Anyways, uh, this is from uh, Theresia Gothmaiden Tomlinson. And Tomlinson is a very British name, but uh, I don't know about Gothmaiden. She goes, uh, hello from Wakefield, UK. Vincent Tangella and Mr. Livingston, you guys are great. Tangella makes me laugh with her antics. And I was of a similar nature in my younger days as I was always a bother at school. I stumbled upon Creature Features on YouTube, and I am a fan. Watching films from my childhood take me back on a lovely nostalgic journey. The guests you have are interesting, especially the lady who does the vampire tours. Oh, she was fun, wasn't she? Indeed. Yeah, yeah. I, I wish to do one of those one day. Yeah, we might. She see. has invited us. No, I know, but I, I have declined because I don't have the time. I'm busy doing this. She does it on a Saturday night. We do this on a Saturday night. So how are we going to resolve that? Someday we'll figure it out. Like you, Vincent, I'm a goth, even at my age now. Am I a goth? You're gothic looking. No, I, I wear some black, but no, it's, what's, what's gothic about me? Oh, she's, she's not talking tonight again. What's up with this? She's giving me the silent treatment. As she usually She's, does. She looks gothic. Look at her. She's gothic. Not me. I, this is the way. This is the way gentlemen dress in Sonoma County, right? No. No. All right. That was a fib. Uh, like you, Vincent. I'm a goth, even at my age now. You can take the girl out of the goth, but you can't take the goth out of the girl. You know, I would agree with that. Anyway, keep showing great films, and can't wait until you show The Exorcist, my favorite. You know, Linda Blair. I know Linda Blair. Yes, you yes. met her. No, she's very nice. Love you guys. Take care, Tangela. Keep up the antics. In fact, take them up a notch. Look forward to watching you soon. Lots of love, Theresia Gothmaiden Thompson. Well, thank you so much, Theresia, and tell everyone in Wakefield I said hello. Love you. What's up next, Mr. Livingston? It's Steve S. Steve S.? He put the dot after, so it means something longer, right? Like Could his be. last name, perhaps. Right. Steve Smith. Maybe it's Steve Smith or Smythe. Have you known any Smythes? Of course. Hmm. Vincent, just finished watching your show that featured The Severed Arm. Classic camp, 1970s TV movies. Was that one a TV movie? I don't think so. 
No, Seven Arm was not a TV movie because you cannot show Seven Arms on American television. At least you couldn't back then, right? Well, Maybe now you can, you can now. show everything. Everything? Well, let's buy it. It's rather naughty. While some hate you showing TV movies, I love them. These TV movies are often so low budget, they avoid little, if any, custom sets and actors that take minimum SAG, minimum rate. Thus, these films become a time capsule of the era. You know, I want to know which TV movies he's watching because the ones we show have been fairly nice, right? I mean, like Trilogy of Terror, that was a TV movie, right? Yes. And it had the, the doll with the crazy doll, right? So... I don't know. You need to watch our show more often, Steve S. Maybe that's his last name, Snake. Steve Snake. That's a good name for a superhero, Steve Snake. Steve Snake. Uh, take in point on your last movie, the 1971 Plymouth Roadrunner shown during the film was a welcome image. In fact, that car these days in good condition could easily sell for US $75,000 plus at the right auction. Keep up the good work. You know, I, I don't believe him. $75,000 for a 1971 Plymouth Roadrunner? Doesn't seem right. Seems odd, but... Uh, Maybe for a, like a Mercedes Roadrunner. Perhaps a true collector. Oh, right. Kimberly Sur. Kimberly Sur. Sur. Like, bien sûr. It's like French. Perhaps. Right. Good morning. That's a nice way to start a letter to us. Good morning. At night. Right. Well, she doesn't know. She, we could have read this this morning and uh, are reading it again tonight. You look bored. You all right? Why is she so sad? She, she wants to do that bloody voodoo demonstration. And, you know, it's not the voodoo demonstration. It's the fact that you're going to torture Andrew again. It's the result of the, the voodoo. The poor bloke needs a week off to heal. He still has wounds from your last... Experiment. All right, good morning. I just want to say that I think you're all doing a wonderful job representing the classic horror genre, though the movies you play are not always the best. Your interviews and skits are fun. Thank you for bringing back my favorite late night show as a child. Watching creature features with my siblings is a treasured memory that I now can share with my children. My sons now understand why I love campy black and white horror films. Thanks in part to your show. Again, thank you for all you do, Kimberly Soar. Well, thank you so much for the kind note, Kimberly, and we hope uh, you and your sons are having fun. Yeah, these are all nice letters tonight. This is wonderful. All right, last one. Uh, Andrea Bishop from Mechanicsville, Maryland. Andrea Bishop, Mechanicsville, Maryland. Do you know what Mechanicsville is famous for? You're going to say mechanics, aren't you? No. What? Try again. I have no idea. The Amish. There's Amish in Mechanicsville. I always found that somewhat rather ironic. In Maryland? Mer Mechanicsville, Maryland has a very large Amish population, and mm. I don't think many are mechanics. So they should call, rename it uh, Amishville, right? Perhaps. I don't know. All right, Andrea Bishop, she goes, uh, Dear Vince, I purchased on eBay one of your bobbleheads from your rock band days. Uh, you remember those? Uh. They did the whole band, but mine had the biggest head on it. There was a reason for that. Right. No. Uh, I keep it parked in my cat's litter box so she can poop on your head. I just want you to know that your miniature self spends most days draped in cat manure. Yours truly, Andrea Bishop. You know, I think Andrea needs to spend some time with the Amish. Because she'd probably be a nicer person if she did. Maybe. I don't know. That's it? That's it. That is it for letters. If you'd like to send us a letter by email, send it to the address you see over here. If you'd like to use the post, use the address you see over here. We'll be back soon with Mr. Lustig, but first let's get back to Scream Blackula Scream. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeaturesStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories.
You know, uh, Bill Lustig, famous horror director, if I wore something like that on my head, I wouldn't have to worry about all this plumage. Oh. Would I? It would just hold it in place. <laughs> Although I, I think I'd, I'd look like one of the female musketeers if I did I that. Wish I wish I had a head of hair like you. Well, we, could, we could trade one night. Anyways, uh, welcome back to the show. We are watching Scream, Blackula, Scream 1973 with the wonderful Mr. William Lustig. Blue Underground. Yes. That's you. Why did you call it Blue Underground? Uh, blue for Blue Velvet. Right. And Underground for Velvet Underground. So you've got a thing for velvet. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't wear more velvet. Oh, Crushed oh. velvet. Blackula wears velvet-ish yeah. things. And so look at this mansion he's got. He's got a nicer mansion than me now. Ah. And he was Bones. Mere minutes ago, and now he's got a nicer mansion than I do. That's all right. Blackula should have a nice mansion because how can you do what you do as as a vampire without like a web? Yeah, well, right? it's Hollywood. You gotta have that's a true. Mansion. That's true. All right, Blue Underground. So you are a distributor and restorer of films. Yes. And then you put out Blu-rays. Mm -hmm. And also UHD. UHD, which, which is, is ultra high definition. Is it above or below Blu-ray? Uh, it's above. It's above. 4K. And how is that delivered? Blu-ray is 1080p. Blu-ray is 1080p? Yeah. And, I didn't know and that. And 4K is, of course, 4K. 4K. So how do you deliver the other formats? Is it on the same type of disc, or is it... It's... Uh, in a, it's, it's, it's ma manu we manufacture the UHDs in Germany. Right. And the Blu-rays we just do in, here in California. So what kind of machine do you need to play a UHD? A UHD. And a UHD oh. machine is backward compatible. To a so, Blu-ray. To a Blu-ray, right. yeah, and to a DVD. For right, you. right, and CDs maybe too. Probably. Right, right. Yeah. That's incredible. What's the next format, you think? You think we're just going to have like a little chip mm. you plug in and play yeah, your it's, film? It's, it's really hard to say. I think for the collector, UHD is the next format. Uh, for the general public, I think they're satisfied with streaming. Right, which looks terrible. Well, yeah. Compared to... What well, you do. Yeah, compared to physical media, it right. does, but the, right. the majority of people aren't that discriminating. Right. That's sad. No, I watch, I watch films on things like Netflix and they look horrid. It's just all crumbly and that's terrible. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, got to upgrade your Wi-Fi. So what's, what's the newest thing on Blue Underground, your newest release? That's like the newest big deal. release is going to be um, uh, Uncle Sam. Which you mentioned. Yes. Right. Uh, followed by God Told Me To, a Larry Cohen movie. Oh, really? Yeah. It's a really good movie. And what's it about? It's about um, uh, people who are killing other people. And when they are caught by the police and, and their excuse for c committing the crime is that God told them to. Oh, I've used that excuse before. Not to kill people. But uh, I've used it for, like, not tipping yeah. <laughs> a waiter. But he was terrible. I didn't want to tell him he was a terrible waiter. So I said, uh, God told me not to uh, tip you. Well, God told me to is a classic. It's a real good movie. We'll check that. And then we followed by uh, some Jess Franco movies. I don't know if you're familiar with no. Jess Franco. He was this prolific Spanish director. Had, oh, right. And made, I think, well over 100 movies. He's amazing. I should know this name. Yeah. And... Um, so we're putting out two of his classic um, erotic movies, right. Marquis de Sade Justine and Eugenie, uh, the story of her journey. Now, when you say erotic film, is this like X or just like? Well, there were X in their day, but they're not hardcore. Oh, all right. All right. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about that uh, during the break, eh? Okay. All right. Off we go. Let's get back to Scream. Blackula Scream, 1973. Don't go away. It gets better, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. It gets better. See you soon. Hello, Creature Feature folks. My name is Carl from Carson City, Nevada. I just wanted to say I really enjoy your show, and you all rock. I also have a movie suggestion, Battle in Outer Space. Circa 1961 is a campy Japanese sci-fi movie that's actually pretty good for its time. Anyway, keep up the good work. Thank you. Bye.
Good evening and welcome back to Creature Features. We're with Bill Lustig, famous director. Yeah. One day you need to teach me how to direct. Oh, you do it fine. You no, know, you would tell me how to direct better than this film and this poor animated bat. You know, they spent a lot of money on this film and then it looks like they hired some fired Disney person to do the animated yeah, flying I, bat. I, I don't think AIP spent a lot of money on, on the movie. That well, wasn't no, their there's style. There's gorgeous sets and, you know, they have, uh, they have uh, Pam Greer. Oh, Right, Pam Greer's in it. Ah, this is before, I guess, she did coffee. Right, and there's, they also have the bloke who played Coach. Okay, good. No, he was on Coach forever. I never watched that show because <laughs> I never understood it. Anyway, so you're going to tell me a story at the break, and I stopped you. I said, you must tell the story well, my, while um, we're rolling. My friends, uh, uh, Sam Raimi and Bob Morowski. Stop right there. Did you hear that? My friend, Sam Raimi. I've never said anything like that. All right, continue. Oh, okay. Well, uh, Sam directed the, the... No, say it again. My friend Sam Raimi. My friend Sam Raimi right. uh, directed the new um, Doctor Strange. Oh. And Bob Morowski, who worked with me on films and right. has been a longtime friend of mine, he edited the picture. Oh, my goodness. And um, so I wanted to go see it, and I wanted to go see it in a nice IMAX theater, you right. know, with the big sound and right. everything. My girlfriend had no interest in going to see the movie. She Why? Doesn't, well, because she gets headaches from loud noises and flashing things. And right. So she just didn't, didn't want to go. So she was, uh, she was staying at, this, uh, at a house uh, where she was renting a room. Right. And um, anyway, so what happened is I dropped her off before I went to the movie. Right. And um, her, the guy she was renting the house from was passed out on the floor. As it turned out, he had a heart attack. Oh my she goodness. got him to the hospital and all so, this kind of stuff. So Sam Raimi and Bob Morowski have saved the life of this guy because, but for the fact that, that my girlfriend did not want to watch the movie, no, this guy could have died. It was not Sam Raimi. It was you who saved his life because had you not chosen to go see that film in, in IMAX... Yeah. So you saved his life. My goodness, that's well. I give I give Sam and Bob. That's credit. how you earn the your ears, right? Exactly. That's how you earn. The, that's incredible. So so it just goes to show you that horror movies or action movies can save lives. Yeah, no, it's important. And I'd like to think this show saves lives too. You know why? Because there's people home on a Saturday night when they could be like driving and oh yeah, you know, but we keep them in. They stay, they, you know, they stay just so they could see Tangela. Right? Uh, right? No, oh, that's my they... theory. I could be wrong. I've not received any notes saying, you know, I would have died if it was not for you. So if you've got a story to tell about Creature Features Saving Lives, write to us. All right? That's okay. going to go on my tombstone. <laughs> all right. Let's get back to Scream, Blackula Scream. And when we come back, we're, we're going to find out what you're doing next, right? Okay. All right. Off we go. See you soon. Hello, this is Mr. Livingston. It would appear I have been tasked with requesting you to help our show financially by visiting our patron page. Your generosity will help us keep Creature Features on the air. With only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new entertainment for your viewing pleasure each and every week. And if you have the desire to give more, you might even receive a gift from Tangela. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you.
I'm confused. I'm perfectly confused. I did not know that a vampire could turn in his vampire card and not be a vampire. I've never heard of such a thing. You know, I think this this may be one of those technical errors, you know, where the actual science of vampirism has not been uh, fully followed. Yeah, or the writer ran out of good ideas. You know, that, that, that could be it too. Anyways, uh, what do you got going on... Uh, Coming up next, what's down the road? In July, I'll be uh, I'm a guest of the Houston Horror Fest. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, yeah, except it's Houston in July. Houston in July, that must yeah. be somewhat rather hot. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm a little worried about that. You know, so, I, I went to uh, Dallas once, and it was in August, and it was miserable. Yeah. I don't know how those people live there. But on the bright side, I've been invited to Sigis, Spain for the Sigis uh, Film Festival there. Sigis, Spain? Yeah, right outside Barcelona. Right. And uh, that's one of the most beautiful places in the world. Right, right. Oh, how fun. So you're just going to be traveling all over the place. A little bit. You're going to be a jet setter again. That'll be fun. Yeah. So when you do these, you know, I, I recall that one time I went and saw one of your shows and I'm, I've never seen a line for autographs so long. Oh, I mean, no, it went, you were at the bottom of the theater, you had a little table and it went from across the front and then all the way up in a large theater and out the door. All these people wanted to see you. Uh, this poor bloke was stuck there for hours. I was my pleasure. No, he is quite nice to everybody, but it's like it's a, it's a bit overwhelming. Uh, it's I couldn't speak by the time I got to number uh, one hundred. I'd no longer be last able to speak. year. I was in Slovenia in the summer. Slovenia. Yeah, I was a guest of a film festival there, and it's so bizarre when you go to these places and you have people that are fans of your movies, right? And they just get all excited, and, and they don't speak your language. Oh, they speak English better oh, they than do. me. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're good. Slovenia. I've never been. Oh, it's great. Beautiful country, I imagine. Very, very nice country. Great right. wine. Great uh, wine. Some beautiful women. Right. Well, all of the above. All right. Well, speaking of beautiful women, what do you say we wrap up uh, Blackula? Yeah. All right. Good to me. All right. Off we go uh, back to the end of uh, Scream Blackula Scream. Don't go away when the credits roll. We're going to have Tangela here, and we're going to wrap this up. So uh, stick around, please. Bye. This brief moment of tranquility has been brought to you by Nightscape. Relax and sleep better every single night. With this and other videos from our free YouTube channel, learn more by visiting nightscape.co today. So the ending, he actually does scream. Yeah, and hence the title. You know, because I was waiting the entire film for, for him to scream. So, or, you know, maybe I was thinking it was Scream Blackula. Scream, meaning to scream the name Blackula. Somebody else. Ah, uh, I don't know. What did you think of the film? You liked it? Why? Oh, she's into the whole voodoo thing. So oh. the whole voodoo part at the end, she likes that. But, you know, she doesn't use it to, to torture vampires. She uses it to torture our poor handyman, Andrew. And, you know, the poor, she's, she, she's so cruel to him. Why, why are you so cruel for being such a nice girl? She's, she's, she's a bit off a rocker. Anyways, uh, fun stuff. How do we find out more about your projects and stuff? Well, I have my website, which Websites? is uh, www blue-underground.com. Blue-underground.com. Yeah, so people right go there, here. they can see all your offerings. Do you have like a, a blog section where you say, from the desk of William Lastic? 
You know, I should do it. I you have, should. I don't have it. No, you should do it. And then the desk in the little picture should be covered in blood. Yeah. Right. That would be appropriate. Yeah. Right, right, right. All right. Well, anyway, fun night. Uh, thank you so much for joining us again. Oh. You got to come back next summer, right? Next summer. Next summer. Yeah. Come up. And uh, as far as you guys go, thank you for staying up and watching the show with us. Who do we got next week? We've got uh, Jake uh, Busey coming to join us. And uh, that should be fun. And uh, we're going to watch something fun. I, I don't know the film, though. Yeah, Livingston has to decide the film for us because he, he, he holds the catalog. And I, he never lets me see it. So in any case, uh, thanks for staying up late with us. And we will see you next week. Don't forget, we love you. So, uh, Bill, you know, I'm thinking I should do my own vampire film. Great idea. What do you think I should call it? You know, why don't you use the British angle and call it Count Blokula? <laughs>